The unidentified woman went into this McDonald's in Lodi, California, where police say she went to the counter, asked employees to hide her, and call 911. But her boyfriend, who had allegedly threatened her, 35-year-old Eduardo Valenzuela, was nearby and demanded she go outside and use the drive through instead. The woman... What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Take a quick second and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Daily videos, all different topics, but you hear that little clip from the news there. McDonald's employees saved the day. And <laughs> I don't know, man, I, I don't mean to sound rude or ignorant, um, cause believe me, man, once I, I've worked at a McDonald's some years back as a second job just for some extra money and um you know mcdonald's is frustrating man a lot of times the employees just don't care or i don't know man like the things i used to see when i worked there sometimes man the customers be ready to kill somebody um you know because the, the, the employees just don't always do the best job we'll we'll keep it at that but they saved the day today um, as you heard the clip, this uh, female, you know, who was unidentified, obviously, uh, came into the McDonald's. And you heard there saying she was at the drive-thru, but originally she came inside, right? And, um, you know, she happened to have get away from her boyfriend who had threatened her with a weapon and wanted her to drive him to his family's house. I, I don't know, you know, there's obviously more to the story, but she came up to the counter and said, listen, this is my license plate, help me, help me please, can you guys hide me, and I don't know if the guy came in or what exactly happened, but, um, you know, then she, she, had, she ran off to the bathroom, came back out, I guess they didn't hide her, right, then the guy had came in by that point, so... You know, he, she said, well, listen, wait, wait, I gotta, I gotta, you know, put my order in. And he was like, nah, we'll do that in the drive-thru. So when she went to the drive-thru, you know what I mean? They have her plate and everything. And she, um, you know, goes to put in her order. And I guess apparently, you know, they say that she was mouthing, help me, help me to the drive-thru people. And I, they already knew um, the other employees had alerted them to what was going on. So they held the lineup stalled and if you remember uh, a couple years ago i cannot remember the guy's name but um the guy do you remember the guy who killed that old man on facebook live that was that was some scary stuff man um he actually got caught at a mcdonald's in the same way he came through and ordered some nuggets and fries i believe and they told him listen uh, we, we got we don't have any ready right now we got to cook some fresh ones so it's your lucky day and then they stalled you know what I mean they, they stalled for the police to get there and he was arrested and that's what happened in this situation as the San Joaquin sheriff showed up and was able to make the arrest the, the um, guy was actually in the passenger seat and when they arrest him Eduardo Valenzuela, you heard his name in the beginning there, he had a stolen gun on him. So, these McDonald's uh, employees saved the day. And, um, you know, I guess this guy believed everything that was going on. He believed they had uh, no clue that, you know, she was like being held captive or whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, when he was arrested, they saw that he had a long history of domestic violence on his record. Actually, some other charges with this same female. But um, all in all, he just has a history of this kind of stuff. And he, he's charged with making criminal threats, um, possessing a firearm, possession of stolen property. And listen to this, his bail is $360,000. So safe to say, I don't think this guy will be getting out anytime soon. But um, like I was saying in the beginning, you know, McDonald's, the, the employees sometimes don't act like they don't know what's going on with anything. But, you know, it seems maybe, you know, they're smarter than we think. And like I said, I don't say that to be ignorant and, and diss people that work at McDonald's. Because like I said, I just did a few years back as a second job just for some extra money. But, um, 
you know, I don't know, when it when it counts, I guess, um, you know, they came through at these McDonald's in these two situations that I men mentioned. But check this out. This is something that I noticed, you know, um, when I was, you know, uh, going over all this information that I wanted to share with you guys. You'll see <clears throat> a picture, like a little uh, logo that says safe place. And I'm sure you guys have seen that before. It, you know, it's uh, like a, a triangle or whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it's, a, it's yellow or whatever. It looks like a road sign. And I've seen that uh, logo places. When I was growing up, there was actually a shelter I was in as a, as a like a teenager that, that had that logo, uh, like a group home or whatever. And um, I did not, I mean, I obviously knew it meant something, but um, you know, you might see that logo other places. I've actually seen it at grocery stores and things like that. Apparently uh, this McDonald's had that also, all McDonald's in San Joaquin county do and what the deal is is um say you're going through some kind of crisis right and you were to google on your phone or look up like how can i get help it'll tell you go to the closest safe place and if you go in there everyone is trained on what to do which is i've never knew this like i said i've seen these signs around but that's what they mean you know what i mean they mean you can go there and get some help. So that's an interesting, good thing to know, you know what I mean, just to put out there to everyone, um, you know, if you're ever in some kind of crisis, look for that safe place sign. I didn't know about that. Like, get in the comments. Let me know if you guys um, knew exactly what that safe place logo meant. I, I really didn't know. I didn't. But um, I don't know. I just wanted to share this story with you guys. You know, um, we see a lot of the, the main reason I wanted to share this is because we see a lot of negative things in the news all the time. Basically, that makes it look like no one cares about each other. And, you know, um, there's obviously is a lot of foul people out there in the world. But you know what? There is also a lot of, you know, good people, um, you know, and um, it, that doesn't hit the media as much. You know what I mean? So thought I'd share this. And, uh, you know, share that information about the safe place thing as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel and you did not in the beginning, please hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I cover all different kinds of topics on this uh, channel. Uh, things in the news like this, current events, sports, music, all different kinds of things on this channel. Uh, it's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.